Welcome again guys, we are talking about cell culture, animal cell culture more, more importantly and in the previous video we have seen what are cell culture, what is organ culture, what is tissue culture and what are the difference, what is the complications, what is the advantage, disadvantage and all these things. Uh, now in this video we will be talking about uh, you know some more terminologies and why we are doing cell culture, what is the advantages and disadvantages, may, may, only in this video we will be talking about you know uh, the different terminologies, some more terminologies that I think is important and that we know that cell culture means usually everything cell tissue or organ that is present in the living organism, if you look at the hierarchy organ we break down it to tissue, tissue can be break down into cells, so you can take them, we can put them in in vitro condition in artificial media, so I must write it here, artificial, artificial media and we allow them to grow, right. And why we require this? Because we want to study those cells, that how those cells actually grow. But we cannot look at them, we cannot examine them according to our wish, we cannot modify them, we cannot alter any activity of them if we look at in vivo, because in vivo means we need to experiment directly in the organism and that is not possible sometimes, sometimes that is unethical. So for that we need to grow them in a test tube, in a petri dish, which is not a living organism itself but a living tissue or a living cell or a living organ with which we can uh, fiddle around, we do some experiments and all other things. So cell biologists and uh, you know tissue, I mean biotechnologists can actually perform those tasks. Now in this case we will be studying some more terminology and the terminology here we are going to see is you know cell line and cell strain. These are the two terminologies are very important. So what is cell line and what is cell strain? Now once we talk about this animal cell culture at the beginning, that cell culture means we have an organism. So let me draw the schematic. So let's say we have this organism. From that organism, we take cells and we put them into the media. And here you go, in this media, where we have the cells implanted, those cells at the very beginning, once we place in the media, let us say this is the media and in this media, we place that one particular cell at the very beginning for example, right? And sooner that cell start to take all the media in components that are present there, right? Because the media components will help those cells to grow and divide. That's why we provide the media. We provide carbon source, we provide nitrogen source, we provide minerals that are required for supporting the growth of the cell. So those media will actually help the cell to grow. So th that one cell will start dividing and soon it is going to produce many number of cells and all those cells start to exploit that media, right? And that cell will continue dividing in a state where all the media that is present in that chamber is taken. So at that situation, it is called confluence. So the cell, once taking dividing and all those cells are taking up the media and once the media is completely finished and taken by all the cells for their growth, that is called the confluence stage. So in that particular stage, till that particular stage, that cell can divide and grow. But once the media components are finished, in that case the cell will not grow because no further media is there to support their growth. So during that part, from the beginning of the organism, if we till this confluence part, the whole situation, the whole thing is termed as the primary culture. That is called the primary culture, right? So during this whole process, so from the beginning we take the organism, we take the cell from the organism, we plate it into the media until it reaches confluence, the whole story will be termed as the culture of primary cell, that is called the primary cell culture, right? Now during that time, once the whole media is depleted, from this chamber, no further growth will be supported. So if we wish to continue the cell division, if we wish to continue grow that cell again, what we need to do? We need to take a cell again 
from this media and we need to subculture it into another media. We need to place it into another media. That thing is called subculture because at the very beginning we have done the primary culture that is taking the cell directly from the organism, putting it into the media. That is a primary culture. But then once the media is depleted, in that cases, we need to take the cell from those first media and transfer it into the second media for continuation of the growth that is called the subculture. Those cells after they grow in the second media, those cells will be termed as cell line or termed as primary cell line. They are termed as primary cell line or simply they are termed as cell line. Right? So, cell line means once we done one subculture, the primary cells that we take from the organism, after the first subculture, those primary cells will be termed as cell line. So, that is the easiest thing, you know, cell line cells are same, kind of, most of the time, completely, kind of 99.9% .9 same, similar than the primary cells that we take directly from the organism. And that thing is called the primary cell line there. Right? Now, from this primary cell line, for example, from this primary cell line, we want to select. So, sometimes what happens during this subculture process going on and in, during these processes? Now, if we take, uh, suppose again in the second media, the media is depleted, we again want the cell to grow for the division. We need to take the cell and put it into another media. At that time, that culture will be termed as secondary culture or secondary cell line. So, that is how the cell lines are being generated. Now, in, during this process of once or two subculturing process, sometimes some of the cells that are present in the media have slight change in their biochemical and morphological pathway or biochemical and morphological views than their parent cells. Because parent cells are the cells we directly took from the organism, the primary cells, these are the parent cells. Sometimes they have varied properties of biochemical and pre-morphological or physiological from their parent cells. In that case, we need to select some type of cells only for our convenience, for our work, for our pr procedure, for our requirement. For example, from the set of cells, we require only those cells which can produce insulin. So, we select those cells only that produce insulin from the set of cell line cells. During this positive selection process, what we need to do? We need to take that cell, we need to clone that cell so that only those insulin producing cells are generated in the next generation. That process will be termed as cell strain. You know that those cells that we select positively will be termed as cell strain. So, cell strains are generated from cell line. That is the most important thing here. Cell strains are generated from cell line. They are positively selected. This in a sense, what is cell line and what is cell strain? Okay.